It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. G3, G3, G3. What's going on, my beautiful G3 family? Welcome back to God is Guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to God is Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lamarian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. So come on, like, share, subscribe, join the G3 family. Listen, I would love to have you. If you're all about ascension, growth, elevation, for emotion, then baby, this is where you need to be. It's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? So press that subscribe button, you know, join the family. Um, thank you to everybody who is booking, who's donating, keeping the lights on, keeping me going. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your love and your support. If you're looking to book, all that information is down below. If you're looking to donate, that information is down below as well. Now, before we get into the energy G3, I have two announcements. <clears throat> I started a Patreon, hey, Patreon, Patreon, ho, Patreon, Patreon, hey. I started a Patreon family. Um, for my IG subscribers, I give ev I give a uh, daily guidance. Okay, I upload videos every day. Well, you know, every almost every day. Okay, but um, every day basically for my um subscribers, I'm going to start uploading those videos on Patreon. So if you don't follow me on IG, that's all good. You can still get the guidance. Okay, ooh, my edges started ringing. Somebody's ears could be ringing. There's something coming through. But um, yeah, that's a that's that's a sign. Yes, Patreon, very important. <laughs> um, what else here? Uh, oh, I have a Valentine's Day sale going on, family. Okay, a love reader for twenty five dollars, a three card spread with. Uh, clarifiers. So if you're looking, if you're interested in that, uh, you can send the payments to my Cash App, uh, PayPal, or my Zelle. And um, after that, email me done. And I will send you a private YouTube link with your reading. So let's tap into the Energy G3. Yo, my ear just, whoa, that was crazy just now. So somebody's ears could be ringing. Uh, what is this? The left ear, right? Somebody's left ear. I gotta look that up. Is that when you're receiving messages? I don't know. Somebody's left ear could be ringing real crazy, okay? Um, but, yeah. I heard love and longevity. G3, you are truly loved by the universe, mother, father, your ancestors, your spirit guides, however you say this thing, you are truly loved okay i'm talking to an emperor or an empress here okay somebody who is very fertile i'm hearing very creative right now very beautiful something about your peaceful energy okay uh it's something about your art you, you have you have some type of healing energy you're just a very beautiful soul is what I'm picking up on here and you are truly loved by your ancestors they love whatever you're creating right now whatever you're doing right now they're like a hundred percent behind it um your growth they're a hundred percent behind it whatever direction that you're trying to go in they are a hundred percent behind it okay I feel like you know it's something about you have to you have the heart to do something maybe something that you know they couldn't do before you you know um they love that you are courageous they love that you are passionate all right they love that you are truly following your purpose and tapping into your magic all right i feel like you are very you're, you're in this your energy is very miraculous at this time there's a lot of miracles going on around you okay you're calling in a lot of great things all right but G3, while all of these beautiful things, all these beautiful things are going on around you, I feel like <clears throat> you have a group of people here, okay? A community of people, okay? It could be people that were uh, a part of a, a group. It could be a group that you were a part of, I mean, 
Um, this can be family members, friends that you used to call family, however it goes. I feel like it's a group of them. They don't, they don't even have to know each other. It's just so many of them. They're grouped up, they're grouped up and they're all standing in front of the throne, begging God, begging mother, begging father, begging the ancestors for mercy. They're begging for mercy because of the betrayal, the backstabbing, the gossiping, the lies, the slander. It's something about, they're begging for mercy. These people tried to defeat you, G3, but it's, you stood your ground. You stood your ground against a community of people and you were, you would not, and that's what it was. This is what, I, this is what I'm saying, you have heart here. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter who is rocking with you. It could be you and a thousand people. You stand in ten toes on what you said, how you feel, what you believe, what you know. It's like, nah. <laughs> you stand in ten toes down for you and for what you got going on. You're not letting nobody come in and destroy nothing. You're not letting nobody come in and mess up your energy. Your boundaries are like to the roof when it comes to certain individuals you're protecting yourself and it's like i feel like you know your ancestors they love to watch you fight for yourself and that's why they love to fight with you because it's like i was watching um the netflix special about alexander the great right and um when he was on the back like he was the king that fought that fought with his with, with the soldiers like he didn't sit back and you know other kings whatever they sat back and they they watched everybody else fight but he was on a battlefield and I feel like you know that's you it's like you're on the battlefield when it comes to you know protecting yourself um fighting for what's right fighting just for yourself you know what I'm saying you're on the battlefield yeah, you, you pray and you ask your ancestors and your spirit guides and you ask mother and father, um, the most high source, however you say this, and you ask for protection daily, but it's but but you know how to protect yourself as well, okay? And um, I feel like, you know, it was a group of individuals that didn't, that thought that you you was an easy target, you know what I'm saying? They thought that they was gonna, that they was gonna be able to take you out and finish you one, two, three. But I feel like you was the strongest opponent one person look at all of these wands look at all of these people coming at you and one person one person standing their ground against all of them people what what yeah that's your that's your energy g3 okay you stand up for yourself all right you protect yourself you defend yourself you're determined to defeat anything in your way any any blockages anything that people try to throw before you, it's like you, you you leap over it. You fight through it. You get through it. You don't put up with any type of roadblocks. You keep moving. You fight through it. 10,000 people in front of you, you're going to get through it. Keep moving. <laughs> you a warrior out here. You a soldier out here. And see, and there's something about it. You're beautiful. Yeah, this is what this empress, the empress is beautiful. Something about you're very beautiful or you're very handsome. See, it's, you know, when, when, when you're when you cute like that, you know, when people are cute, they, they, they look at them like they're prissy. Maybe, maybe people thought that she was prissy. You don't, you don't like to get your, your hands dirty. You know what I'm saying? You don't like to get on the battlefield and fight. Nah, you too prissy for that. Th that's what they thought because of how you look. Something about you giving classy and they're giving ashy. <laughs> G3, you're giving classy and they're giving ashy. <laughs> but it's something about you, you know, they thought that, you know, you, you look too good. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't think that you was, they just really thought that you was naive. Somebody that wear their heart on their on they sleeve to somebody that just, oh, for fall for anything somebody that's going to fall for any trap they thought that they was going to be able to set traps for you and you were just going to fall in it one two three you know what i'm saying they, they just thought you was you was an e an easy opponent or easy target yeah you was a target they was targeting you they thought that you was an easy target but 
Now they're all begging for mercy. They're sorry. I feel like they're, they're, they want you to forgive them. That's what they're really asking. They're asking to be forgiven by you so you can put down your guards. It's energies that want you to put down your guards right now, G3. And they're praying and they're begging and they're asking and they're doing whatever they could do to try to get back in. These are atheists that's going to God and praying to get to you. <laughs> These are atheists going to God in prayer to get to you. People that don't even believe in God, but now they do. Yeah, you turned them into believers. Yeah. Yeah, G3, you turned them into believers because of just this big energy that you are. This beautiful energy that you are. This fertile energy that you are. This master manifester that you are. Yeah, it's, that's what it is. You are a master manifester. You call those things that are not as though they were. And, and what happens? The universe orchestrate, orchestrates everything that you call as not as though it was. Because you have the heart for it. See, a lot of people don't have the heart to command the universe. Yeah, a lot of people don't have the heart to, to speak with authority. In, in, in the Bible, they said, who is this man speaking with this, this type of authority? Who gave him this authority? Yeah, it's something about you. You got authority. You can co command the universe. And the universe works on your behalf because you have the heart for it. If, if anybody could do it, everybody would be sitting there destroying. You know how many people's, people's lives would be destroyed? People are already destroying people's lives with black, black magic. Imagine if they had the power to, to command the universe. They don't, see, they're, 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 they're manipulating the energy, but they're not commanding the universe. See, this, it's, it's different. And, and G3, you're in a different level. You're at a different level in this thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You turned up, you, you, you turning these people into believers. You turn the atheists into believers right now. <clears throat> because these these people were really trying to ruin your ancestral tree, is what I'm is what I'm seeing here. It was people that was obsessed with trying to ruin your ancestral tree. Somebody wanted to strip you naked and humiliate you. Somebody wanted to put you in a vulnerable position and humiliate you. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I just got. Capricorn energy. But your ancestors love you too much. You, you connected to a tree. You connected to an ancestral line that's very powerful. That has more power than the devil. <clears throat> See, the devil had power, but it's something that just got a little bit more power. And that's what you're tapped into. That's what you're connected to. Th that is your roots. Something about your roots that are connected to something that's very divine, very heavenly, very high. And somebody wanted to strip you naked and humiliate you. It could have been a bunch of people. They wanted to abuse you, misuse you. They were they was betraying you left and right. But the truth of the matter is they 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 really just wanted to humiliate you, but it, it, it didn't work. It couldn't work. Because see, they they could strip you naked, but you turn it into art. <laughs> it's like, isn't this a beautiful picture? They can strip you naked, but they but but you turn it into art. Every time they try to send some type of negative energy to you, you turn it into art. Somebody can be an artist here. Draw. It's like you transmute it. Thank you, mother. Somebody here is an, uh, uh, you not only a master manifester, but you're a master alchemist. You know how to transmute energy. You know how to fill people at their core. You want a, def a different level in this thing called life baby and it's people that wanted to humiliate you that has been defeated 
You defeated a whole community, a whole family, a whole group, or just different individuals. When, when you count them all up, it's 10 plus. That's a group. You defeated all of these individuals that tried to strip you naked. And all of that negative energy that they sent towards you and everything that they tried to, to do and say on your name, you turned it into art. You turned it into art. All it did was help you get an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. It just helped you connect deeper to your roots. See, every time these energies try to send something to you, every time they try to manipulate the energy to, to, to send something your way, you were, you were saved by the tree. You know how they say saved by the bell? G3, you were saved by the tree. You're your tree of life. You're your roots. You're your ancestors came through for you every time they tried to awaken some type of demonic entities or energies and send them to you. Your ancestors came through and said, now we see you. We see you. The owl. You got, you got, you got watchmen. You got energies watching you at all times. You know how like the police officers be sitting outside the door when 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 somebody is or, or I don't know, police officers that's because I've been watching a lot of police things okay that's only when there's somebody locked up in there but somebody could be getting locked up <laughs> but anyway wait 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 but security guards bodyguards you know how like the bodyguards be sitting outside in front of the door you know protecting whatever's happening you know let let making sure nobody come in and and making sure like let me check in. Pad people down, seeing who they are before they can even get it. Yeah, that's how it's like. You got you got twenty four hour surveillance. See, these people tried to have these people thought that they was doing something at night, or they was doing something when you were asleep. But even when you sleep, you up. Even when you sleep, you up. Somebody get money in their sleep. Yo, what's up? Shout out to you. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, somebody getting money in they sleep. Because even when you sleep, you up. <laughs> even when you sleep, something running up. Okay? <laughs> but these people really thought that they could do something at night or send, send things to, towards you at night. But your ancestors are constantly watching you. Constantly paying attention to the changes that people are trying to send in your life. And see... People had to learn the hard way when it came to you. This is why they're begging for mercy because I feel like one thing about you, you're not dancing with the devil. You already danced with the devil. You already tangled with the devil long to, to, for too long. You know, you already tangled with the devil. You're not tangoing with his ass no more. <laughs> you're not jumping in the ring with the devil no more. For what? Why would you keep fighting somebody that you know you can defeat? It's a waste of time, a waste of energy. When I have time to just waste time, then maybe. But see, you're not in the energy where you have time to just waste time. <laughs> so you're not just going to be fighting the devil. The devil is a weak opponent when it comes to you. So you don't really vibe with this no more. This low vibrational energy. You don't really vibe with these low vibrational entities. You don't really vibe with this any, anymore. Every time the devil show himself or show herself, you dead. Yeah, the devil like to, 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 to uh, dwell in men and women. Yeah. So whenever they show themselves, peace. What is that? Pay my mind. Peace. Yeah, peace. Okay, <laughs> you don't, you no longer tangling with the devil. So anytime people show you that evil shit, anytime people show you that they are abusive, they are a, a, a narcissist, they are codependent, they are obsessed, they, they got ego issues, ego too big. But the ego, why your ego so big for? They got all of these Something wrong with them and they cabasa, cabeza, what is it called? Cabasa, cabeza, whatever, head, however you say this thing. Okay? 
<laughs> Once you see that they violent, oh, you violent. Oh, let me go. Oh, you you little domestic violence. Ah, what's that video? That's a, that was a um a real a video that was going down. He was like, oh, she hit you. Oh, she a little domestic domestic violence. <laughs> so somebody could be Spanish. <laughs> But, um, yeah, once, once somebody show you that they got that assault in them, oh, oh, you giving me first degree murder. So let me, let me, let me pack my shit in. It's like, you don't play. Once people show you, once they show you who they are, you believe them. That's, you learned that lesson. I feel like life taught you that lesson. A very valuable lesson. Thank you, Maya Angelou. Once, or was it Oprah? I don't know. But, 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 but once. Somebody show you who they are, Maya Angelou. Okay, once they show you who you are, once they show you who they are, believe them. And that's what you, 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 you be like, okay, that's you. All right, cool. You, it's no arguing. You're a peaceful energy. You're a balanced energy. What I got to argue with you for? I see you and I accept you for who you are, but that's not who I am. I can't rock with you because I'm not, I'm not dealing with this type of energy anymore. Not in my personal life. Now, if I got to work alongside this energy, that's that's one thing. But in my personal space, nah, I'm not dealing with it no more. And even in, you know, the workplace and just outside regular life, when people, when I see it, I'm giving them the deuces too. So you really cut these energies completely off. I feel like you cut these energies completely off and once you did they were cut off from some type of ancestral tree so it's like people were stealing from your ancestral tree somebody it's like people it was it was a whole community yeah this is why they're, they're, they're asking your ancestors or they're asking mother and father for mercy because they was trying to really steal something from you your energy your essence your light it was a whole community trying to siphon your light. Everybody trying to pull, pulling from you. Surviving, people were surviving in life because of your roots. People were, these people were surviving in life because of your roots. And the same people that were surviving in life because of your roots betrayed you, backstabbed you, they were gossiping about you, spreading lies about you, slandering your name, smear campaign, sending death magic, wishing and hoping that you felt the same people that was thriving in life because of your roots. And I feel like once you learn this truth, you cut their asses off. You cut them off. Or you close some type of door. You close a cycle. You elevate it. You have grown. See, I feel like that is something that your ancestors couldn't do. This is then I say something that you could do that is something that you did that they couldn't do. See, maybe they, they weren't able to get away from certain energies. Maybe I don't know. But it's like you're you're able to close out cycles. I feel like you're not gonna have to deal with these energies in the next in your next life cycle or you know it's like something is cut off from your from the root of your tree like whatever it was like people had up yo so i was just sitting outside and it was a i'm looking at the the tree and it was a, a long branch and it, it fell it fell from the tree but it was like it looked like it was connected to the roots so i'm like i'm like oh like Wow, that tree is, I'm thinking that it's from the tree. So I'm like, oh, that tree is, is growing crazy. Okay. And I and when I um got up, because I was sitting down, you know, just meditating, whatever. When I got up to come back into the house, I, you know, touched the, I went to like, like, fill it, whatever. And it was, it wasn't a part of the tree. I was like, oh, oh. So that, oh, see, I love it. I love it, mother. Thank you so much. So, yeah, it was like people was trying to, like, slide they, it's like, I don't know, maybe they, they branch got, I don't know, it was some, I don't, how, how they was trying to set some type of branch up from your tree, all I know is that 
I, when I when I came by, I picked it up and I was like, oh, and I placed it down. So it was I, I I realized that it wasn't part of the tree. So it's like the truth. So so now that you have disconnected from these energies, the truth of who they are are is exposed. Okay, the truth of who they are is exposed now. And so it's like people are begging to get back in into your energy because they feel naked now. See, isn't that crazy? They wanted you to be naked and hu humiliated. And now these people are feeling naked and humiliated. I could be talking about a Pisces uh, or you could be a, a Pisces. Leo here, Aries, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini energy. I, did I even tell y'all 25 minutes in? I didn't even tell y'all the divine feminine. Meow Shan is the divine feminine that's here. The princess of mercy. Okay? I feel like they're begging for mercy because of because they did this in, they did all of this to somebody that was you didn't deserve it. You didn't deserve whatever this whatever type of energy they were sending towards you, whatever fight they was trying to bring towards you, you did not deserve it. And now it's like they were trying, yeah, it's like they, they wanted to end your forward motion. And I feel like everything that these people have done has added years to your life. Because I was hearing longevity. One thing, she has this peach in his hand because this, is, this peach represents longevity, okay? So somebody here has longevity. And I feel like it's because of, so she got that peach from Yama. Yama is the god of hell. In, or hell, the god of the underworld, there's something in, what is that? Hindu uh, religion or something like that? Or, um, but so she was in hell and she was helping the people in hell and Yama uh, took her out of hell and put her back you know, on earth and gave her a, like some type of island and, you know, she was happy and he gave her a peach of longevity so she can live a long life. Okay. So I feel like, you know, it's something about you could have been, people was trying to put you in hell. It was like you, people was trying to put you in some type of dark place. They was really trying to really end you, end your forward motion and end what, you know, what you have come to do here. You have, you have some, you have an ancestral gift. It's some type of ancestral gift that you have here. You have come here to do something for your ancestors, break generational curses, and, um, you know, really heal the bloodline. So you have been granted longevity because of what these people have done to you. This is what I'm seeing. You're gonna, somebody's gonna live a long life because of this, this whatever devilish demonic energy somebody tried to send towards you because I feel like you did not deserve it. You didn't deserve it. These people didn't want you, you were too big for these people. It was something about you, G3, you're too big for these energies. They want you to, these people, they, they prefer you quiet. They, they, they prefer you pretty. They prefer you handsome. That's it. You know what I'm saying? They, they prefer you to not outshine them. It's something about you, you outshine them or you make them feel like they, there's, they have work to do. But we all have work to do. Every day we should strive to be better. Every day we should strive to grow. So every day there's work to do. But it's like these people don't like to look at themselves in the mirror. They don't like to take accountability. They like to feel like they got it all. They know it all. They have done it all. They have seen it all. They got all the answers, but they have learned now that you have disconnected from these energies that they don't have the answers. Now they learned that they don't have some type of abundance. Now they, they've learned who was the real emperor or the empress? Who was the real empress? Who was the real master manifester? It's like in some type of group, you could have been connected to these people. Like I said, this is your family. It's like, you know, you were the chosen one in the family. You were the, the master manifester. You were the one that was going to change their lives. Any Anybody that you encounter, you are, you, it's a mission. And I was saying that, yo, I was just saying this in the mirror. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be sitting there thinking that I'm finding love and, and this is a mission. Like, come on. <laughs> I'm like, I was just 
talking to my ancestors about that. It's like everybody that I feel like you come across, it is some type of mission, whether it's like a you know, a mission where, you know, you you got to really show this person who they are and, and do all that. Or just something simple as in, you know, helping this person bring, carry bags into the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, helping helping somebody, you know, uh, into the car. It, whatever. It's like there is some type of mission. And it's and it's because it's, it's some type of energy that you give off. You give off this beautiful energy where you can really... Turn people's bad day into a good one. That's what you have that energy that can turn anybody's bad day into a good one. Okay? Anybody. Anybody's bad day. So I feel like G3, these people couldn't take that. They couldn't take this beautiful energy. And I feel like because you have this beautiful energy, you are about to be positioned. Yeah, I feel like you're about, you're, did I say uh, Yama gave her like some type of island or put her some, it's like he gave her longevity and uh, what is it? A tropical, beautiful area to live in. And I don't know, something like that uh, was the story. So I feel like something's about to be very beautiful for you. It is, com it is done these people want these people think that you haven't forgave them or they they want to come back they want to apologize it's too late to apologize it's too late it's, you already forgave them and the the apology will only be so that they can reunite and Attach back on to your ancestral tree. Your ancestors are not putting up with, your ancestors are not going to put up with you being connected to anybody that was backstabbing you, betraying you, lying, gossiping, slandering your name, trying to bully you, trying to hurt you, sending debt towards you, trying to abuse you, trying, you know, uh, uh, trying to make you go crazy. It's like, no, trying to end you completely. Like, no, it was energies that was trying to end you completely. That's, that's praying that you, so, so for for just an opening so that they can apologize. What? I know I was trying. I was chasing you down with some type of knives and I would stab you in your back. But I'm sorry. It's like people didn't think. I feel like yeah, because she went to the underworld. So it's like maybe something. They could have defeated you. Maybe you were down at one point. You were out. Nah, you was never out. They said, nah, we never out. <laughs> but it looked like it. Ah, it looked like it. Real close. It was a slow count. Ten. Nine. Eight. They got to five. Four. Everybody started leaving. They was like, yeah, it's over. These people thought that they were successful. That's another reason why they can't get back into your energy because when you were down, they thought that they were that their magic or that whatever they were doing was successful. Nobody even came over to check to see if you still had a pulse. Nobody even came over to see if you were still breathing. They said, ah, oh, it's over. Mm. Bye. They just, ah. It's a nice person, right? That was a nice, that was a, that was a nice, uh, 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 divine feminine. That was a nice divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Anyway, they were going to try to, it was like they wanted to end you to show up as you. They wanted to end you to be you. You had family, friends, people around you that wanted to end you to be you. Imagine. Imagine these are the same energies that's praying now that you forgive them. Asking God. Please, can they forgive me? Can I please get back into their energy? I'm sorry. I'll do I won't do that no more. No. You've done enough. You're absolutely correct. You will never do that again to my empress or my emperor. You will never be able to stab them in the back again. This is what the divine is telling these energies. This is what mother, father, your ancestors are telling these energies as they cry and beg. At the throne. 
for some type of mercy. Sorry. Forgive me. They don't understand that you forgave them. See, they don't, they don't, they don't know real forgiveness. Forgiveness is for you. It's not for them. See, these are people that still have some type of warp. They still stuck in some type of matrix. They think that, oh, forgiveness is so that we can make up and get back together and love each other. And 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 and, and then I stab you in the back again. Well, you ain't lucky. That's what they think. Because that's what they do. And that's probably what you used to do. But see, elevation. Hmm. When you elevate, you understand forgiveness. What is that? Colossians 3.13 says, forgive others. You got to learn how to forgive others like God forgave you, right? It's like, you forgave these people so you can release the energy and heal from whatever they have done. And so you can progress and move forward. You didn't forgive these people so they can so so they can come back into your energy and celebrate with you and then turn around and try to end you again cuz that's all that these people can't take your life they can't take your life so even if they, they're begging and praying to get back into your energy, they want forgiveness. They they, they want to have a second chance. They want, but they really the, the the truth of the matter deep down inside these people, they cannot take your light. And if they don't, they don't have to understand that. Your ancestors understand that. The Most High understand that. Uh, the universe understands that. Mother understands that. Father understands that. Your spirit guides understand that. Understands that. Your your guardian angels understand that. They know, and you understand that. Come on, you know the truth. You know the truth that these people will only come back into your energy to cause chaos and destruction. First, they'll celebrate and then cause chaos and destruction and then celebrate after. After they destroyed what you had going on. So you know the truth of all of these individuals. You know the truth of every last one of them. And you know the truth of what they tried to do to you because you are the emperor. You're the empress. The, emperor, the empress is very intuitive. Let's get deep into the energy. Let's see what else is going on here for this week in wine. Legs, rituals. Yeah, I feel like these energies are begging for mercy after they was doing rituals on you. Forward motion. They was doing rituals on your forward motion, but you have spiritual protection here. Okay, this whole community. It was a community of people. I'm also picking up on Vatican type energy here. So this this can be even people sitting in high positions or high places doing magic on the chosen ones. You got people do, doing rituals and spells and stuff over, over the energy, over your energy. And you don't even know these individuals. And this is why you're very spiritually protected. This is why you have bodyguards surrounding you, surrounding your energy all the time. Spiritual bodyguards bodyguards 24 hour surveillance because your ancestors will be dead if these energies come into your life so it's like these people that it's like they can't get in they're trying to get they're trying i feel like they're trying to get into your energy they're trying any some they're trying to do some type of rituals to to get you to not walk away from them or to to stop your forward motion or to stop you from moving towards where you want to go or what you want to do in life it's like no, it's not going to work. Sorry. I heard familiar. So this is somebody Spanish. Okay. Sorry. Or I'm not going to say this is just somebody Spanish. I'm picking up on somebody Spanish here. Yeah, they wanted me to say that. This is picking up on somebody Spanish right now. But yeah, something La Familia. Yeah. They're doing rituals to stop you from moving forward. 
but you're going to keep moving forward because you have outgrown some type of thinking, some type of thinking. It's like you had you had some type of paradigm shift or you elevated mentally. So you're not even on the same level as these people. You know what I'm saying? You don't think like these people anymore. It's like somebody out, you have outgrown a group of individuals, whether they're friends, families, or just whoever. You have, you've outgrown these people. And it's like people, and, and they couldn't take your growth. So they started to attack you. But once and, and and now that they see that the attacks didn't work, no matter how how many times they tried to stab you in the back, they tried to stab you in the back ten times, and ain't shit work. I'm telling you, these people, I'm, you turn these people into some type of believers because it's some it's some type of rituals that normally work, but they're not working on you, and it's because your ancestors are not allowing it, because your ancestral tree is not allowing it. Your roots, too, 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 too strong. Okay. Weather any storm. You got them roots that will, that can weather any storm. You have them roots that been here since the beginning of time. Is what I'm hearing. You connected to, you connected to the tree that been here since the beginning of time. Now, all these damn trees are. Y'all better stop playing. They better stop playing with you, G3. You connected to a tree that's been that's been rocking for a long time. Okay? Tree can tell you some things. Yeah, you have a lot of ancestral wisdom. You have a lot of ancestral knowledge. You are very special to your end. That's what I'm saying. You loved. You loved. And this is why you have been granted longevity. You have been granted long life because of this, whatever they, whatever these in, individuals done to you, whatever type of rituals that they were doing to you, you have been granted long life. So these people will be dead and gone and you'll still be moving, living, breathing, thriving, beautiful. <laughs> Aging like Benjamin Button and this thing, you know, aging backwards. You know what I'm saying? These people are gonna be long and gone, and you're gonna still be kicking forward. Fear, anxiety, brute force. It's like these people were trying to push you. Somebody wanted to push you. Look, they're crying. Somebody crying because they're falling. Because somebody was trying to push you. Somebody was trying to push you off, out of your tree or push you out of a building. Somebody was trying to knock you off your square. Make you lose control. Somebody wanted you to be stressed. I feel like, you know, you're over that. You're not tangling with stress either. Anything that looks like it can be stress, you out of there. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you over all of that. Like you over stress, you over drama, you over all. It's like, mm, let's give it a little stressful. Let me let me go this way. <laughs> I'm getting. You will not stress me out. I feel like you. That's the energy that you're in. Like you're not. And it's like somebody. That's what they wanted. That's that's what they wanted for you. But now, you know, these energies, or it can be a, a particular female here who is very sad. Okay, maybe something about maybe she has to move. Yeah, something about her, her foundation. Okay, so somebody is now. Her, this is why somebody's begging for mercy because they're losing their foundation. They, they could be losing their home. They got to travel somewhere. Okay, um, it's something about secrets, self discovery, addict fearful hiding somebody's hiding somebody's hiding that they gotta move or that they can't that they're losing their stability or they're losing control okay somebody's very stressed out right now they're very they're very sad they're praying they're praying really hard but i feel like something is something is not being heard because of 
the brute force. Somebody was forceful with this magic or forceful with this uh the slander, these lies, the backstabbing. It was like they was they was really going hard with whatever they was doing. And it's like, yo, how how dare you? It's like how dare you do death magic or how dare you try to end me and then want to because it's not necessarily that they want to apologize and, and, you know, just go their separate ways. It's like somebody wants to apologize and be in your energy. Somebody wants to apologize and, and, and thrive with you. Somebody wants to apologize from trying, for, for trying to destroy you and thrive with you. It's like somebody feels like if, if they can apologize to you, if, they can, if, if only they can speak to you. So I feel like you got this person completely blocked. This person cannot talk to you. They cannot get in contact with you. Okay, you you have their number blocked. You have this, I feel like you completely blocked these individuals or this person or it's just, it's like, or there is just an energetic block. It's like they cannot get to you. You have a block up where it's like they don't, it's, it's not, they, they, they don't even feel comfortable coming towards you, comfortable talking to you. This is why they're doing a whole lot of praying. Because they know and I feel like God is, you know, whoever they're praying to is looking like. It's like, what what do you want me to do right now? Because, you know, I can't force nobody to, 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 to put down their boundaries to deal with you after you try to destroy them. It's like somebody is like. Somebody wants to like force, I'm picking up on somebody who is like, they just, I just, if I can just speak to them, if I can just say something, if I can just, yeah, because they're watching you, they're watching you. If somebody, if I can just speak to them, they'll, they, they can, something about knowledge and ideas and confidence and self-image, they, they'll see that, they'll see, they'll see I've changed, they'll see I, I've grown. They've seen, they'll see that I, I, clean, I cleaned up or something. I don't know. Somebody is just like, yo, if I can just talk to you, we can, we, we can fix this. <clears throat> but what if he was dead? What if their magic worked? <laughs> What if whatever they were trying to send to you, their lies, their human, what if this worked? What if they really hum humiliated you and destroyed you and you couldn't get up? Would they be begging for mercy then? Would they be sorry then? Or would they feel victorious? Or would they feel like, you know, they did the right thing? Would they feel like they won? Somebody got to get real. These people got to get, these energies got to get real. Okay. Purple. I feel like somebody's crown chakra is very active right now. You're very, you're very, you can be hearing these, you can be hearing these people's prayers. Yeah. Meow Shine. She, she hears the cries of the people or of people, you know, the sadness. Meow Shine's pick up, she picks up on the sadness of individuals. So I feel like you can be hearing like, you could be you could be hearing people's prayers. It's like you know, you can feel these energies pulling and tugging on you energetically. Okay? But I feel like, you know, you you have your your path has been made clear and you have to keep moving forward. You know, you're not dealing with these energies not because you haven't you don't forgive them. Or that you hate them. Or that you don't want nothing to do with them. No. You're not dealing with these energies because you have to move forward. Because you have elevated and grown past whatever type of level or, you know, whatever that is. You have outgrown whatever that is. To deal with them, to allow them back into your energy is literally going backwards. It's like you're not in the energy where you're going backwards anymore. You're in a constant forward motion here, is what I'm seeing. 
because you have come here to fly. You have come here to, to, to succeed, to progress. And I feel like these energies are not progressing. And this is why they want to get back into your energy because they want to be able to progress. They want to be able to grow with you or they want to be able to have access to whatever type of, to wherever you're going. They want to be able to go too. They, they want to be able to, to, to celebrate too. You know what I'm saying? This is what somebody want to do, Phoenix. They want to go through some type of rebirth too. But they're actually in danger. I don't know what that's about. Let's see what that's about. Danger. Oh, they're projecting danger. <sighs> no, or they want to take a risk. They want to come towards you. Somebody is trying to, to lower their pride and come towards you, but you already know what these what this person or what these energies did behind your back. It's like you know the truth about whoever these people are. And it's like your boundaries are up to them. You're not you have divine protection. They wanna they they wanna come. They wanna they wanna risk. They wanna take this risk. But if they come any closer, they're gonna be in a danger zone. Oh, this is so your ancestors are telling these people, if they come any closer to you, they're going to be in a danger zone. And this is why they're praying. They can't come. They can't. If they come any closer, if they go any closer, they're going to fall. Look, falling. So somebody could be falling right now because they they really took some type of risk. They they could have did something. They could have did something over this, this new moon that we just had, that we just had. There's some type of ritual, some type of spell work that they really fell because you have some type of divine protection. And I'm seeing that somebody was trying to, then I, <clears throat> then I say somebody was trying to push you. Cause I'm also seeing like, you know, so, somebody trying to push you off the cliff or something. And then you flying, rising like the Phoenix. So yeah, it's like somebody tried to push you or, you know, get you, tried to destroy you, bro. They, 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 they tried to put major ob obstacles in your face and tried to humiliate you, but you really rose out of whatever these people did to you like a phoenix. Like, you had the heart to defeat all of these people. You had the heart to try to triumph over any type of hardship that came your way. That these energies tried to put in your way. Okay? Clarify, Fallen. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody don't got no money. Somebody is losing all control. Look, Ace of Pentacles in reverse tower. This some type of Queen of Wands here. Some type of social butterfly. Somebody was that was that's all they was doing was running their mouth. Somebody who who thought they had spiritual protection. Somebody who thought that they were a star. I feel like you are this. You are a, you are a Queen of Wands. That's what it is. You are a Queen of Wands and you are a star. Okay, it's something about you. You're here to shine. Queen of Pentacles energy. You're here to shine. This look, friendship. This could have been a friend. Somebody that you called friend. Somebody that you once celebrated with. I feel like this energy was doing a whole lot of shit behind your back. Saying a whole lot of shit behind your back. Um, but now they're losing, they're lacking money. Okay, they're they're lacking money, they're losing opportunities. Okay, and, and this person is crying and begging and praying that God stop the towers in their life, that, 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 that they can come and talk to you. But it's like the energy that you put out is the energy that you give back. And, and, and that's the thing. It's like if you're going to be planning magic, if, this is, if you're going to be out there running your mouth, gossiping and stuff like that, you got to be prepared for that energy to come back to you if that person is not on the same energetic frequency as you. So it's like somebody tried to, they're attacking you and you are an emperor or empress. You, you're not on their level, okay? It's like... It, it's like them trying to attack the emperor. Like, you know, say you got an empire and you got guards and everything around. Somebody try to come in and, and, and start bugging and trying to attack the, the emperor or the empress. All the guards are going to go crazy on this person. You know, now this person could be in jail, locked up. They mad. Now they in jail. Oh, it's not fair. This is somebody who's, who, it's like these... 
I feel like somebody was playing victim, but they, they can't play victim no more. They're just crying now. Somebody is sad crying because they're losing. It's like they can't even play victim because it's like everybody see everybody seeing you try to attack the emperor or the empress. It's like these people, it's like that's, oh man, they're exposed. That's why they're humiliated. They're naked and exposed because everything that they was running their mouth about and something and, and talking about and all the slander and backstabbing and all, and all the magic that they was trying to do, it's like you are rising. You're going higher. You're looking better. You're thriving. You're glowing. I was hearing, yeah, glow. Yeah, glow. That's um, Glorilla's new single. And when I was hearing that, I was cracking up because I feel like that's the answer. It's like, yeah, glow. Like, yeah, whatever your name is. Yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, Jay. Hey. Yeah, Jay. Like, go ahead. Because in the movie, in the movie, in the videos, like she was hyping herself up, right? So I feel like, you know, your answers are like, yeah, like, yeah, Glow. Mm. Because you really triumph over all of this darkness that in it, that these people was trying to send to you. You triumph over all of it. And you turn these people into believers. I'm telling you, atheists. You have people that didn't even believe in God, believe in any type of spiritual realm or anything like that. And if they did, they, they didn't believe in it. And like, you know, there is a God. It's like somebody believed in, you know, they had a God complex. You know, they thought they were the God. You know what I'm saying? And and like and, and like I always say, you are you are God, but you are not the God. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta know your place. And whoever this is, it's like they didn't they didn't know their place. These people didn't know who they were dealing with. They didn't know how powerful the heart is. These are people that play in hell. These are people that that overpower the root, the sacral, and they got an unbalanced root, sacral, and solar plexus. These are people that like to play in the, in, in the hellish type areas, okay? You, are, you thrive in the heart. See, you have ascended. You are not in hell anymore. You are on earth. You are experiencing heaven on earth. Okay, because of this beautiful heart of yours. So, so I feel like these energies didn't understand the power of the heart or they were just naive to the power of the heart or the power of love or the power of being loved. See, they didn't understand the, the, the power that you possess, you possess when your ancestors love you, when the universe love you. That's a power right there. To be loved by the universe and loved because of your heart. Not love because you a kid. You 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 one of the kids. Cause you know, uh, God. You know how they say God don't play no favoritisms. But I feel like you you favored. You know how like you know, even when mother a mother can have a bunch of kids and it's like it's it's one kid. You know that they all could be grandchildren. It's like you you got that one grandchild that that you just you know <laughs> you love them all. You love them all. But if you just that one grandchild. So I feel like it's just, it's like, yeah, it's like, we, it's something about the universe. Yeah, we, I love everything here, but it's, it's something about you, G3, that you are, you are truly loved. And it's because of your heart. It's because you are a healer. It's because of what you're connected to. It's because of what you're creating for the universe. You are an angel of the universe. You are here to help the universe. You are you are working with the universe. So as you heal, you heal the universe. You heal your ancestors. You heal your you heal the tree that is protecting you. Okay, from who? Because this this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but. Somebody is, somebody's losing wealth right now. A lot, everything is kind of falling down for this person. And I feel like something about you, your wishes are coming, coming true. Okay. I feel like, yeah, you, you, you can be getting love too. Like there is, there is love here for you, an ace of cups, but this is also, you are, like I said, you are loved and somebody is so worried about this. They're, they're up in their head. They're worried. They're thinking about how loved you are. Like they messed up. Like somebody didn't, somebody judged the book by its cover. I'm telling you, they thought that, you know, you just look good. They just thought that, you know, they, they didn't really understand the power that you came with, the punch that you came with, the raw that you came with. They didn't understand it. They couldn't see it. 
It's like somebody picked up the book and read the back of it and was like, ah, oh. you know, it's whatever. It's a corny book. They didn't, they didn't really, they didn't really get, get into the book of you. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really understand. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really get into the book of you. They judged it by the cover and by what was written on the back. But that was the setup. Yeah, G3. I feel like the universe got it like that. So you can lay low. I feel like, you know, you were hidden. You were hidden. You see how like the books, they have like a cover. You can take the cover off and then it's like you just the, the bare book, whatever. I feel like the your your book, the cover around the book was it was like the cover and the book was was not the same. <laughs> I feel like you were truly hidden. So people can pick it up and see that it was and, and think that it was nothing. And, 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 you know, try to destroy it or try, because see what the cover was given was not what they was in, feeling energetically and what you was giving off like in it. So it's like, ugh. so they was like, but this was the cover says, so I'm going to just go by the cover. And you know what? Somebody went, somebody was judging you, but they didn't know the real you. Somebody like, damn, I moved too quick here. Yeah. It's going to be some type of king of swords. Somebody who just thought that they just knew it all. They know how to read people. They know what they know. You couldn't tell this King of Swords nothing. I feel like your ex or this is somebody that you dealt with, somebody from your past that's just so nervous about the fact that they did not see that you were the gift. And it's something about your energy is just like you. It's like you come from a tree that just keep on giving. It's like, what kind of tree is this? How does this tree have everything up here? It's like, we have learned in life that this is the apple tree. That is, you know, a, 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 a peach tree. That is um, whatever, all other type of trees that they have. That's an orange tree. Okay? That's an apple tree. We have learned all of this. It's different trees that bear these different fruits. But it's a tree. Your tree, G3, you got everything on this tree. People be like, yo. What? How does this tree have it? Nah, this, nah, that ain't real. It's like somebody thought that you was too good to be true. And you are. <laughs> and you are. <laughs> I just feel like. Because, see, the world has created individuals, has created a bunch of robots. Everybody is the same. Nobody's authentic. Nobody is, everybody's walking around the same, doing the same thing, feeling the same ways, acting the same ways, talking the same way, you know, just being the same. But that's not you. You thrive in your individuality and you love it. And you love it. And that right there is, rare in this world but somebody hit the jackpot when you were brought into their energy somebody hit the jackpot and they couldn't see it now they said now they, they they're worried they're nervous because you are succeeding this is i feel like it's a bunch of people praying and asking for forgiveness so you have a friend here ask they're falling they're, they're, they're losing stability Okay, they, um, they're losing control, they're in fear, they're stressed, okay, because of the slander, the backstabbing, the gossip, the betrayal, okay, the lies, the deceit, all right, and then you have some type of ex-lover here or somebody that wants to come back into your energy, somebody that you was dealing with that did not see you for who you truly were, they did not see you as this successful energy, they didn't see you as somebody that was going to be able to rise above any type of darkness they didn't know that you was going to be able to come out of some type of valley that you was going to be able to make it out somebody here they judged you they just judged you completely it's like maybe you know you weren't successful you weren't flying you know when this when you and this person was dealing with each other but now that you are soaring this person is like i've, I've why wasn't i able to see this 
somebody is so worried yeah they're heartbroken this person is heartbroken and they're so mad at themselves this person is mad at themselves okay they're trying to find the courage they're trying to find the courage to come towards you but they could be dealing with some they could be fighting with their family here somebody's fighting with their family and whoever they teamed up with or they can be they can somebody is heartbroken about the fact that they teamed up with some type of family or they teamed up with individuals that were trying to defeat you that was in competition with you so it's like somebody your ex could have listened to somebody or teamed up with people that was truly trying to go against you or destroy you. And, and somebody realized that they, they they on the wrong side. Somebody realized that they on the wrong side and they on the wrong team. This is this is why they up all, somebody cannot rest. They think about this all night, how they how they couldn't, how they made the wrong choice or how. And you know, I feel like What up? Cause I don't know. What, up, what am I feeling here? Judgment. Yeah, this person is under judgment. So this person is going through a lot of karma right now. Yeah, they, they're fighting. They're fighting a lot. They're trying to save up money. Okay, they're trying to find the strength to approach you or this earth angel. But yeah, that's it. They're trying to find the strength to come towards you. Somebody, Queen of Cups here and Ten of Cups, it's like somebody feels like they can be happy with you. Somebody feels like they can have a happy family with you. But what they, they're heartbroken because of what they're connected to. Okay, you were, somebody had the gift right in their hand. Somebody had something special right in their hand. It's like they lost it. And I feel like, you know, you, you outgrown or you have, you have grew. You have grown above or rose above all of this energy. You know, 11, I feel like, you know, you, you have balanced out your masculine and feminine energy and you are just ready for more in life. You're ready for more. I feel like these people don't, they don't know how to rise out of the fire. See, the phoenix knows how to rise out of the fire. Yeah, these people feel, they're feeling left out. You know, their magic didn't work. They had, yeah, somebody feels like they, they went down the wrong path trying to do some magic or connecting to other, connecting to people that were against you, okay? Virgo energy I'm seeing here, Pisces energy, Leo energy here. Um, somebody, Cancer energy I'm seeing as well. Thank you, mother. <clears throat> yeah, so, somebody don't know how to fix something. I feel like whoever... Somebody's stability, whoever's losing control of their stability, they don't know how to how to fix something. They don't know how to rise. Somebody here doesn't know how to become a phoenix. They don't know how to use the fire to empower them or the fire to strip them from or burn away the things that no longer serves them. Somebody don't understand how to use the fire element, but they're using it with magic and rituals trying to destroy you. They did sin and anger and spewing fire your direction, but they don't understand how to use fire for their good this is why everybody shouldn't be doing magic because you know magic is not for you to be destroying anybody it's, it's for you to be better but everybody want to everybody's trying they, they'd rather use their words to to destroy other people than use their words to build them up okay and then be trying to be looking confused like why my words why when i'm using words to build myself up it doesn't work it's like because of the words that you're using to destroy people uh common sense here so it's like somebody is Truly, they don't know how to come up. They don't know how to change things around. I do feel like somebody, I'm picking up whoever this lover energy is. This could be a cancer energy here. Somebody really, they went within. And I feel like they, uh, somebody's trying to go through some, some type of rebirth here. Somebody's trying to do the work. Somebody's really praying and trying to do the work to, um, I guess, to be better. Taurus energy here. Somebody, somebody truly wants to be better because they realize that they're on the wrong side or they chose the wrong team or, or they went in a, in a in a different direction. Okay, they 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 put themselves in a danger zone when they went against you. This is what somebody's realizing. But they're trying to heal and, and be better. Whoever, whoever is this friend, I feel like they're not. 
they they lack creativity and this is why they want to come towards you somebody wants to come towards you so quick so they can so you can help them fix whatever they done messed up they they done messed something up here and they really need you they really need your help to fix something but how could it's like somebody come and they push you off the cliff oh my gosh it's it's um, one ten up here my, my bad but somebody push you off the cliff and then you know you you dead you splattered at the bottom of the cliff but now they need help with something and the person that they pushed off the cliff is the only person that can help them <laughs> it's like but that but you it's like if you did not have ancestral protection somebody would have pushed somebody you would have fell to the ground and splattered but you have ancestral prote protection. You heard what the devil said to Jesus. Like, if anybody, if somebody, if you fall off this cliff, if I push you off this cliff, angels will come so that your feet won't, you won't touch the ground. Yeah. That's your energy. Yeah. Yeah. Any type of, somebody, if somebody ever try to come and push you off a cliff, angels will come. And people, and, and I feel like these, these, these people have been trying to push you off cliffs forever. But you just keep flying. You just keep soaring. How? Every time we push you up a cliff, you 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 pop back out. It's something about you. You pop. You you keep popping out on them. Every time they think that they have done something, you keep popping out, and that's why they're believers now. And they want to get back into your energy because I feel like people want to get back into your energy because wow, they're amazed at the fact that they could have destroyed you. Sick, sick, sick. Okay. <laughs> close this out g3 this is crazy <laughs> but just know that you are you are protected you have 24 hour surveillance okay your heart is like they can't it's unpredictable yeah something about your energy is unpredictable they can't get you because of your heart one minute see they don't understand love like venus it's like you are very loving, but it can get crazy too. But not because of you, maybe because of your protectors, maybe the people around you. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's what it's like. You can you can get crazy too, but I feel like it's more so you don't have to because you have your 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 ancestors truly protect you. Okay, you have ancestry protection here, truly. So let's close it out. Thank you so much, Mother, for this message. I was up here talking for an hour and so my bad. <laughs> but thank you guys for rocking with me. If you got anything from your sister, you want to leave us um, your girl a donation, all of that information is down below. And if you still here, you better just hit that subscribe button. Come on, you love the kid. You love the kid, and I love you too. <laughs> so let's go. Let's close it out, Mother. Thank you so much for this message. Ask for clear direct messages as I, as I close it out. Get up a few. Let me get one more. Let's see what's here. Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. So I feel like something is. You're about to receive some type of opportunity here. Or I feel like one, two, three. You can have three opportunities or three people coming towards you or three people that want to work with you purple uh yeah i feel like it's three people that want to to that could want to team up with you okay um scorpio go deeper new moon so i feel like this new moon helped people this is i feel like this new moon brought out the tr like some type of emotions in in people like real sad emotions for some people or just like tr true emotions how they truly feel i feel like who, this energy is gaining momentum i feel like this is somebody that want to come towards you that want to go deeper with you scorp this this could be a scorpio energy here okay cancer a personal issue reaches resolution so somebody yeah i feel like somebody from your past you know a love situation somebody wants to resolve something don't let pride get in your way. So somebody is, you know, is being asked to not let pride get in their way. Maybe, you know, hear somebody out or something like that. Uh, show the show the world the real you. I feel like, yeah, you know, um, I feel like, you know, when when these people, because I feel like people people are going to try to come back to you, especially a lover here. 
show the world the real you. Okay, what, whatever you, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel at that time, if you want to take this person back, if you want to deal with this person, do that. If not, don't, okay? It's whatever you want to do, okay? Because in this life, you are here to, to, to go deeper, here to explore, here to experience, here to, you know, um, shine, so I feel like it's a lot of people that could be dropping their pride or this masculine or masculine or feminine. Somebody could be dropping their pride. I'm not getting so much of, I'm picking up on love right here, right now. Cause I was, yeah, love and longevity. So there's some type of love that is, that is uh, people that are coming together. This could be, this could be somebody new too, you know, releasing the past, resolving some type of issues and going towards something new. So it's just really about trusting your intuition when this lover comes into your, into your life. Okay. Or when this past lover comes or uh, resurfaces in your life, but somebody wants to talk to you. You know, somebody wants to show you the real them. Maybe somebody feels like they didn't have a chance to show you the real them. Somebody wants, yeah, somebody wants to show you the real them. Anyway, I love you so much, G3. If you got, did I say that already? I think I did. Oh, it's late. I love you guys. And until next time, bye.